if you're a returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys like what you see in this video today, please, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. Uh, I wish that you guys would think about subscribing. That would be awesome. Please leave some comments today. I really want to know what everybody thinks. I want to know what you think about the DIYs. I want to know what you think about the channel itself. Uh, do I bring enough to the table? Are the videos interesting? Do you want to see more of what? Like, what do you want to see more of? Just let me know, please. I need to know I'm new at this and I really want this to succeed. Okay, so for the video today, um, what we're going to be working on is a couple different things. The first as being it is a large piece. It's so beautiful when it's finished. I'm actually making it for my own house. It is going in my living room. Um, I think you're really going to like it when it's done and it is so easy to make. It takes a little time. It is a little tedious, but it's totally worth it. Because okay, so to get started, I have got um, six picture frames from Walmart. I believe they were $3 a piece, $4 a piece. They're so cute though. They're rustic. They're just, they really are cute. Um, I've got hot glue and I've also got a glue that is made by Gorilla Glue, but it's like E6000, same, same uh, idea, I think. So I took my X-Acto knife and you see me there, I'm cutting off the little holder. Also, I cut down the side in order to take the back off of the frame. You want that, you know, you're gonna have to take that off in order to see just the glass when we're finished. So you're gonna cut that completely off, get all the little scragglies, that way you don't see them. All right, do that to all six frames. Then we're gonna start gluing them together. It came out like a big old glob when I first did it. There you see, that's that was me wiping it off. So um, this glue, I guess it's okay. I don't really see the difference in it in the E6000. I would just rather stick with the E6000, but it works. I mean, I'll give it that, it does work. So the hot glue is for, you know, it to hold right now. And then of course the Gorilla Glue is for um, long-term hold. I want these frames to stay together. So I put my clamps on. I got those clamps at the Dollar Tree, a dollar for two. That's a really good price. So after I got this completely glued together, left my clamps on, got all the sides glued, here in a minute you're going to see me i'm going to start putting um popsicle sticks in the the seams of all of these picture frames i thought that that would be a good idea like maybe help hold it down but i don't know if it was a good idea or not anyways we'll get to that in just a minute in the video you'll see so after you get it completely uh held together there using the clamps the glue get everything together. I took the hot glue and went over the seams. Like I said, I'm putting the popsicle sticks down. I just, for some reason in my head, thought that this would help, but it really doesn't do serve any purpose. Honestly, it just doesn't. I mean, when you're working on other projects, oh, and there's Blue. Everybody say hi to Blue. He's my biggest supporter. He definitely is with me for every time I was doing crafts. He sits and just hangs out, but anyways, he's my biggest fan. So, I end up putting these glue, I mean these uh, popsicle sticks all over this thing. I get it completely done. And then I sit back and think, um, okay, so like what was the point in that? They're really not going to hold this thing together if for some reason the glue fails. Those popsicle sticks are literally serving no purpose whatsoever. So anyways, to say the least, I end up taking them all back off you'll see that here in just a minute and doing something else instead that to secure it a little better than what it is there are other projects that you know the popsicle sticks work really great on to hold together some of the signs from the dollar tree and whatnot yeah duct tape there you go i knew it would be in there in just a second so i took all the popsicle sticks off got out my gorilla duct tape and went to town I ended up gluing all of these picture frames, I mean, uh, taping all of these picture frames together. That seemed to work way better than the popsicle sticks did. I like to use duct tape in a lot of my projects because it does hold together and it is, you know, it's pretty versatile. You can use it on pretty much anything. Um, I guess that's just an old, good old redneck thing, but duct tape. My, my grandmother used duct tape on everything, so hey, I guess that's where I get it from. But anyways, 
Um, after you get it completely duct taped together, now I have, I meant to mention this. I took the glass out and set it to the side while I was working on this. So I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but the glass is not in those picture frames. It's sitting off to the side so that I didn't, you know, take a chance on it falling while I was doing it or whatever. So after I got all that duct taped okay, together. So here I'm fixing to clean the, the um, glass that goes back in there. I've got my like, trusty glass and cleaner. It's a spray aerosol spray and then these flower sacks that i got from the dollar general store they're two for two dollars and they are fantastic they clean everything good not just glass glass especially though glass and mirrors they don't leave those like little fuzzies on there after you're done and they just man they're they are really good i dust with these i clean my vanities with these they are just very versatile you can use them on pretty much anything uh they they work really well and for that price you know once it gets all dingy chunk it and go get you a couple more dollar general typically carries these all the time okay so here comes the duct tape again yep that's right i am totally using the duct tape again so i couldn't figure out exactly how i wanted to have my frames stay in i mean my glass stay in the frame once i you know try to put it on the wall um I guess you could use maybe th the hot glue or A6000, um, possibly even using dowel rods and just lining those around the edges of the the um, frame and glass and then gluing that. But that just seemed to me to be a big old mess waiting to happen because I just knew I was going to end up with glue coming through the front and you would able to see it everywhere once I got it done and up on the wall. And this thing was very tedious to do. Now, it's not hard at all, but it did take a little bit to, you know, make sure everything was just right and get everything glued together and everything redo, you know, take the popsicle sticks off, put them on, take them off, whatever part of it that's the that's the cool thing about crafting you just kind of learn as you go you do it your way do it however you want to whatever works for you whatever you know you like your pref preferences just do it your way i mean that's the thing that i like about crafting um so anyways i duct tape these on just the very edge i mean i very little bit of the edge of this this picture I mean this um, glass, so that way, see the uh, tape from the front, you know, when you've got it turned over. Okay, so here I have got it turned over, got the glass in, everything's just like I want it. You can see the hot glue, um, just a little bit, but enough that it kind of bothered me. Like I didn't want you to be able to see that, that just didn't look, it wasn't a clean finished look to me. So I got out my paint and a small paintbrush and I'm using hazelnut is the color that I have. And actually it pretty closely matched the color that was already on the uh, edge of the frame anyways. But either way, it was close enough. I think I ended up adding some uh, truffle to it to darken it up just a hair. But I end up painting over the top of the hot the hot glue just to cover it more. Yeah, I'm telling you to hang on just a minute. I'm gonna add some truffle. Yeah, hazelnut and truffle. Those were the colors that I mixed together to get the right color. So once I get it mixed up, I, I paint over through the edge that seam where they where the frames meet all the way around everywhere where the frame meets. I end up painting over the hot glue but I take a paper towel actually you'll see that here in a minute um, I take a paper towel after I get it on after I get it painted I'll take a paper towel and wipe it back off so it's not really painted painted on it doesn't look really painted on it's more washed on kind of like a whitewash except it's with the paint you know a colored paint um, and it takes just a minute to do this but it just gives it such a clean finished um, professional look to it once you're done you know and I'm gonna have this on my wall and uh, I made it hello so I want it to look good I want it to be just right and I'm funny about stuff like that I guess you call it OCD I don't know but I, I'll take forever on a project just because I really want it to be just right so here it is guys it's all done and on my living room wall
I just love it. I think it is so rustic, so farmhouse. I put I added the um, greenery, that's some eucalyptus greenery there across the top, kind of like a lay. And then I ended up with the um, Olivia bow that I just love making that you've seen in my other videos. Um, super easy to make. So that's it. Uh, it's very easy and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Always think about subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and y'all have a great day.